We've had so much interest in this year's conference from such a range of people, from obviously in-house practitioners who are constantly looking at new ways to communicate to their various corporate audiences. We've had so much interest from PR agencies and suppliers of services. Um, the conference itself is going to be, I think, a, a sellout. We've already had to move venue uh, eight weeks on because we've uh, seen that we're going to sell out in the, in the one that we had before. So that's quite an exciting first step. And I think the reason is that there has been so much talk about social media to reach consumers, to promote, uh, you know, for, for people to, to set up their own communities and talk amongst themselves and so on. There is, at the same time, so much interest in how companies can talk to their various non-customer audiences, to their investors, to the media, to their employees, to regulators, to the communities in which they operate, and so on. The conference is focusing on all of the areas that Communicate magazine covers. Our readers, obviously, are needing to talk to audiences um, that are not necessarily their customers. They talk to the media, their investors... Um, regulators, their employees, the communities in which they operate and so on. So increasingly we've seen some really interesting examples of how companies are using social media to speak to those various audiences. From the likes of Centrica who are trying to attract new talent through their graduate recruitment program through to the likes of Sainsbury's who are using social media and Web 2.0 tools uh, to reach to their investors um, and so on. And I think it's very, very interesting that we've seen a number of conferences this year, but none of them focusing on the corporate use of these tools. And that's really what we're covering. That's why it's going to be such a great event. Excellent.